Alright, welcome back to Operation Morbid Hammer. We've been waiting for you. Uh, this is a medium landed of its own of its own volition, medium landed at UFO uh, in India. Uh, our team wasn't super optimal. That seems to be a word I'm using a lot lately. Um, we've had to bring two rookies on this one. We didn't really have a, an A team to take this one on. And because this is a landing, not a crash, and it's a medium, that's not so good because you can get some really nasty landed mediums and some really nasty landed smalls as well. Um, we still haven't seen mutons yet, and it's the month of the mutons, so let's get down there and see if we can meet our big green pals. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. So I won't bore you with a long briefing for this one. Forest maps are always pretty fluid. Essentially, how this usually boils down for me is there's good tree cover. We move up uh, through this direction, and then once you get to around here, you've got good tree cover and you're in sight of one of the entry points of the UFO. Usually you've hit contact by now. You fight... Uh, Basically from your tree cover as they try to come at you, you kill them, you blow them up, you deal with most of the contact and then you go through this doorway and then it's your standard kind of UFO breach and by now you should all know how that goes down. If not, buckle up and I'll show you how it's done. Um, apart from that, the only real point of contention is there's a little bit of a hill like mountain forest thingy here, which you can get up on if you've got time and use it if you want to clear out this area first. So if we hear contact from that direction, we can always climb up and use the hill as a base of fire. But apart from that, this should stay pretty simple. The only danger would be uh, maybe a flank from here, and hopefully we weren't activating anything down there because that'd be unlucky. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Let's get into it. Now, a preliminary scan, which I should have done before I did the briefing, how stupid of me, reveals meld right here, next to where Big Sky is the side of the park and start reading Newsweek. So, what that means is instead of me saying we'll take the hill if we feel like it, now it's smarter to just take the hill from the get-go. So, what we want to do is head over to the left, grab the meld, and then basically use the hill uh, to make sure we clear out this whole area. But regardless, we're still going to have to clear out that corner of the ship. So who do I want to move first here? Well, Renzol into tree cover would be good. And then Squint leading the charge with the rookies. Kamikaze, you can stay with the Rocketeer as a base of fire, and literally everyone is happy. So let me get my Rocketeer into position. Ooh, no, let's get on the left here, because we're going left more. Half cover is much better in Long War. I, I feel so much more comfortable taking it these days. Can you imagine that? Back in the old game, you would never take half cover. Not even once was the battle cry. I'm it was just that bad. So we want to move pretty quickly. If we can aye, aye, get some dashes in here safely, that's going to help us grab that mel before it goes down. So we're going to try and uh, push our luck probably. With some double movements. And there's a drone pod. And there we have it. Maybe we shouldn't make those double moves because this is, of course, the first sighting of mutons in May. That is not going to be fun. Headed there now. Alien but, object enemy in sight. sight. Oh god! There's the drones. Oh, two melds. Yes, please give me both the melds. Can I even get over this? Yeah, there's a step. If I if I bust through these drones real quick, I can get both melds, and that's a good time to be had by all. What do you think, Renzol? Oh, but you'd have to blow up the meld to do it, wouldn't you? Hmm. Well, they are just drones. Maybe we can just laser our way through them. If we hit this forward one, I don't think they should be able to flank me. Oh, which obviously makes life a lot easier. Just gotta make sure we don't activate any muttons. That would be a real bad time. Moving. Let's 
get a little bit closer for a little bit better of a shot. And that is a big bada boom from Morgan for her first mission. Very nicely done. Unfortunately, Squint's not going to be able to follow up with any degree of accuracy, so Squint not super useful just yet. In fact, maybe Squint should just move and be ready to help next turn. Seems as she ain't doing anything this turn, that's for sure. Okay, what else can we do here? Well, Kamikaze can move up. Potentially try and kill another drone. Oh, this squad! This squad is on their game and I love it. Who is that? Someone was saying they can move up. Hawkeye says they can move up. I trust Aye, you. Commander. I'm not going to activate any mutons to the right, Commander. Oh, well, if you say so, Hawkeye. I mean, I trust you, girl. Boom! What a time to be alive. And with just one drone left, maybe we can even get this mel before it expires. Wouldn't that be nice? Should I risk moving my rookie up to get the meld? Maybe. Nah, fuck it. We just gotta fight through this turn and then the way that mountain blocks off line of sight, we can do all the dashes we want afterwards. Headed there now. Just stay safe this turn, reap the rewards next turn. That is really nice. That's exactly what I want. That's like the best case. You reveal a bunch of drones, you hit all your 50%. It's like it's your birthday or something. And then it double moves at you, and you're like, sure, my rookie's just gonna kill you in Overwatch. Aww, that could've been my perfect day. I already heard it in my head, I heard me in my head screaming, my rookie just killed it in Overwatch! Ah, but it didn't actually happen. Negative damage. I was so ready to say that, and then it didn't happen, now I'm... Now I'm sad, no matter how good this has gone. I'm just sad now. On my way. But we are gonna finish it off pretty convincingly. And then we're going to go on a little climbing journey up through the mountains. Uh, Squint can start running for the meld and it should be fairly safe. Whatever the hell you just called me, I like it. Alright, Morgan. There's no mutons, you're safe. Take that shit. Fuck you drones, you ain't getting between me and my meld. And then I'm going to climb up these mountains, I'm going to take the second meld, we're going to strike down from the hills like Hannibal and his goddamn Carthaginian elephants. It's going to be real. It's going to be some real shit. Target confirmed. Medics have a lot of mobility, even just from the start. I love it. It's great. SMG, uh, paying off for Renzel already. Not taking the carbine anymore now that I have enough weapons that I don't need to put the carbine on a combatant. It's SMG time. So I guess so ends the, the short twilight of the carbine for me. I'm probably never going to use it again now that it doesn't offer anything to Rocketeers, because that was its that was really its niche for me. But hey, there's some meld for me. It's only plus three meld, we've kind of beating the shit out of the aliens. Maybe next month they'll have some more resources. But still, it's meld that we didn't have before. Meld that you didn't have before is good meld. Uh, let's get... Salty Renzel? No. Yes, probably Salty Renzel. Let's get Salty Renzel moving up. Dashing up so we can grab that second meld before it goes away. Double time. I don't think I've ever ascended this mountain before like this. This is kind of cute. It's a cute little Solid spot. This is like when you first hear about XCOM and your friend tells you that there are snipers in it who can shoot across the map. This is like what you kind of dream of in your head. You're like, yes, Running. I'm going to take the hill. Many What's YouTube commenters will tell you that I never ever reload. I never take the turn to reload. Ten four. And they kind of just leave comments like, Beagle, why don't you ever reload? So I'm going to take the time to tell you right now why I'm not reloading because I want to get the meld. Once I get that second meld, I'll slow down enough to reload. Oh god, the mutons are there. Of course they are, they're protecting the meld. But I want it. But I want the meld. I can't let them have it. I can set up my rocket here. Alright, so this might be our reloading turn then. Getting it done. 
Yes, this will be our reloading turn. Roger that. Let's just get everyone in position. And ready to rock for next turn. Digne. Digne. Moving out. We're gonna steady that rocket to cover Back us next turn. Ready to engage. Back, Back tap bang. And your boys are ready to roll out on this muton scum that is defending this melt canister. Put you. On the move. Let's move you up. Visual on the goods. Hostile spotted. And there he is. Two mut. Oh, oh god, that's a nasty pod. Two mutons, a muton leader, and a floater. That is a pretty nasty pod. And this might be worth falling back from and engaging in a better way. Depends what I can do with the rocket, really. And the answer is I can't do a lot of the rocket. So yes. Might be worth baiting them into a better engagement, I think. Um, well, let's see. What? Uh, I don't think three mel is worth what those mutons are going to do to me. Let me think about what I want to do here, instead of boring you. Alright, so, I think what I'll do is try and hold their attention here. Probably with my Rocketeer hunkering on the tree cover. And then run my flanking teams around to the right, where they're going to exploit these guys' lack of cover. Now, if these guys keep coming at me the way they're coming at me, and they keep trying to use this dirt berm as actual legitimate cover, they're going to be easily flanked next turn. If they try to take this cover, well, that's easily destructible. This tree is close enough that I can probably grenade shit the hell out of it. Um, and, you know, everyone's in range that way, at least. So what I'm going to start with is putting my Rocketeer in a cover. I'm going to want to run the Medic back after I'm done. The next thing I need to do is to check that this right side is okay to move on. So I'm going to dash someone over just to prepare, uh, just to make sure that no one's moved in on my right. Jumping down the stairs like you did when you were a kid. And it looks all good. So next, let's just get people in position to exploit next turn, basically. So I'm going to want my shotgunners down there. Where's my shotgunners at? Run and gun. Where you at in the club? Squint, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There is. There is. Now you shouldn't be visible if I've calculated this correctly, but... No, you're not visible. That's what I want. I don't want you to be seen yet. We'll run the old medic back. That's affirmative. And then it's just a bit awkward that there's not a lot of cover here to take. The gunner can remain in place to cover. And what will we do with you, Burn Cycle? There's no point moving you. This, uh, this, there's not a lot of cover to engage from from this position. You might just have to sit here and just wait for an opportunity. So we're hopefully betting on the fact that these mutons don't start with bombard, so they're not going to be able to grenade me from super long range. Um, so I should hopefully be okay in my current position. Well, there's a blood call. That's going to give him more mobility. That could be dangerous. But no. So we've just got a lot of overwatches against us. Now, quite luckily, the leader didn't overwatch. And he's the guy with covering fire. So he would have been the most dangerous one to use it. Um, the Rocketeer is pinned, though, failing any other action. Um, the issue, of course, being that I will get grenaded the fuck next turn. So our options really are... If I can deal with the two overwatching mutons, the Rocketeer can actually move... The gunner can take the Rocketeer's spot and suppress the leader muton and we can kill him later. Which means it would be safe to take these positions as long as we kill these mutons. Now to kill these mutons, I'm going to need, well, I might need to fire the rocket. So that's a little awkward. Whatever happens, Squint's probably going to have to face tank uh, some Overwatch here of Lightning Reflexes. So we might move her up first. Maybe even to this position. To, uh, to do exactly that, basically. Now, activating two overwatches is more dangerous than one. But we'll hopefully be okay. These mutants are still carrying plasma carbines. Not the full-length assault rifles, so... Ho oh, wow! Well, there you go. Lightning Reflexes does have that 5% chance to fail. 
And I got hit for exactly as much health as Squint had off that Plasma Carbine. That was... Hey, you know what, Muton? That was a great roll you made there. And I respect your great capabilities to roll a lot of damage. Uh, and I'm going to make you pay for it horrendously. So, if I run a gun Morgan, I can get a flanking scatter laser shot on this guy. Uh, he can't flank me in return, even though he's got a great close, close proximity shot. Then, what can I really back up with? Well, I need somebody to deal with that rear back guy. Hmm. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a tricky conundrum. Maybe if I move Kamikaze to this position, I can suppress the leader muton while still taking my rocket on these two. Blow this guy's cover up, making him an, uh, an easy kill for a non-running gun assault for, you know, for my, my rookies. And then the assault can just focus on flanking that other guy. So maybe that's what I'll do, is I'll focus on killing this guy with a rocket. Poor Squint. First day on the job is a bad day on the job. But at least she's okay, folks. She's okay, folks. We just gotta get a, a healer to her. Soon. We'll work on that. Um, so I need to get my rookie to see this guy to engage him. And unfortunately, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to do that. That's a, that's a real piece of poop. I might have to move up Hawkeye to exploit this instead. Let's move Kamikaze first to just ensure I can get that suppression on the... Well, I can't get the suppression on the Muton. This is going really terribly. This is going really, really terribly. Still got to deal with that Muton, though. And there's the Overwatch from the Floater. Which thankfully did not hit me. But we're going to go for the Exposed Muton because we do need to finish him off. Hawk, I thought she'd be healing people. Target down. Hawk, I only read one side of the flyer of the XCOM combat medic job. Really unfortunate I can't get that suppression, but that is life. That's that's the life that we live. At least I can move Burn Cycle up to this position. Um, and have him be protected from the floater maybe by this heavy cover, but I don't want to cluster my guys any more than I already have. Because that's just asking for some horrible, horrible shit to happen to me with all sorts of uh, grenade action. The last question is what to do with my... Assault. Now this guy's a big deal. He, he's probably scarier than his friend, but... If I move to the good flanking position to get him, the other muton is just going to flank me, so I can't take that shot. As much as I need to, I can't. So instead, I'm just going to flank the one I can actually get a shot on. And hopefully the Assault Morgan can just be a big girl and take the attention off. If I even hit this muton. Nice work, Morgan. You're a dynamite gal. Alright, well what does that leave me? It just leaves me Burn Cycle and W, neither of which really have any great options to take. Uh, I can move W Moving up to, to be ready for next position. turn. Good on you, little rookie. Um, Kamikaze is going to have some shit to do. Now, if Hawkeye dies, Squint's in even more trouble here, so... You know, we need to keep the attention off Hawkeye, but hopefully... Oh, the Assault has heavy cover instead of half. Well, I was hoping the Assault would be in half cover and the Muton would think she uh, she was a better threat. How are we going to handle this just right? Mm. Let's simply move, try and catch the guy on Overwatch, and hope for the best. There's not a lot else to do right now. Pray for Squint. A nasty grenade here with a follow-up from the floater could be really bad. We'll just have to see what this guy decides to do after all his friends are dead. And luckily, as aliens are sometimes want to do, he's decided to run away. Now, a hit from Kamikaze would have been good there. Kamikaze ain't no Zim. But at least the guy didn't grenade me. So I really need to get a medic down to squint ASAP. Because poor little squint, she's just bleeding her guts all down here. Now, attentively, I believe I just heard a door open. Which means we've got activity inside the UFO as well. That mail's also about to expire. Ah, the trials of the greedy XCOM commander. Instead of sending the medic, I'll send Kamikaze to get Squint up. So that the medic can get the meld. Sorry, Squint. 
the gunner will have to heal you because the medic's too busy getting orange shit. Okay. Been secured. And the medic is too busy getting dynamite flanks. Oh, here comes Intimidate. First Intimidate of the campaign. Hey, and we didn't panic. I hate Intimidate so much as an ability. I, I just hate it as everything. I'm on the move. And now we are going to please be killing the Muton? Nah. Um, why don't you hunk a beagle? I don't know. I'd rather them be shooting the assault with the chitin plating than the medic. That's why I didn't hunker. I'd rather... Rather than the minus 15 defense, I'd rather the priority of the Muton shooting the assault. Maybe that's not the right choice to make. I'm used to my assaults being a bit tankier. But I just feel like that's the right choice to make, yeah. Let's move up W to contribute to the firefight. Oh, or one day hope to contribute to the firefight. And move up Burn Cycle for the same reasons. Roger that. To one day be useful. I got a prize. Alright, Flank Muton, what are you going to do? Your floater's watching you. Don't fuck up. Oh god, there's more Muton pods on this map. And I'm down a scout. Alright, you're running the Overwatch. W, it's your big day. Nice work, W. Very nice. That's W's way of saying she wants to be an infantry when she grows up. Alright, the Muton's still in fugitive mode. He's still running. He's crossed the bushes. And it looks like his floater buddy's running with him. Well, we need to get Kamikaze up. Kamikaze not in a great spot to be revived. So we'll have to screen... Uh, I mean, Squint not in a great spot to be revived, so we'll have to screen for Squint. Morgan's gonna go ahead and keep pace with those escaping vigilantes. Oh no, the Seekers! Not what I need while I have people in the open. Medic, I mean Rocketeer. Rocketeer is never gonna hit that shit. Fuck! I need to keep these fucking Seekers back while I heal. And those damn Mutons are right there, they would have been easy pickings. But I'm gonna have to let them get away, or worse, decide to engage me next turn. Alright, well, we're gonna have to take shots against these sons of bitches. Oh, you can't even see him, shit. That ain't no good. I'm on it, Commander. Well, let's see if you can pick one off, W. Alright, you can do a piddly amount of damage. You can definitely do that. Stabilize the scout! Those guys, these guys are just showing up exactly when I don't want them to. Uh, which is ever, by the way. But uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it. What to do with my assault? My assault's easily flanked by these Seekers now, I don't like that. Moving. There's not really a lot of cover she can move to to change that. I guess the best thing I can do is pop my smoke grenade on these guys in half cover. Cover. Oh, but if the Seekers move up to me, this is just gonna work against me. I hate Seekers so much. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Let's just steady a rocket and hope we can wipe them out next turn of it. I hate Seekers so much. They were like a nuisance before. They're really, really fucking annoying in beta 14 now. Their AI is smarter. They shoot more often than just strangling you. Oh god, the muton's sticking around! Oh, can I get a witness over here? And then the Seeker's gonna flank me because it can do that. And there's nowhere I can move or it won't flank me. Oh, but at least you hit. Awesome job, Burn Cycle. Your eyes see all. Get me the hell out! Alright, double suppression isn't so fun. Oh, it's so... it moves so far! It can move so far! It can move so far! Oh my god, the smoke grenade! Why can Seekers move so far? Oh, that one didn't flank me. Oh no, kill, kill, kill! Oh! 
Stop panicking, you cowards! No, stop! As long as the Rocketeer doesn't panic. Alright. <laughs> Don't just stand out there in the open! Don't freeze up! You gotta move! Well... Oh, choices, choices, choices! If I can deal with these guys in another fashion... Ah, oh, if I could deal with the Seekers without the rocket... I could easily kill these two with the rocket, but I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need to kill the Seekers of it instead, because after damage resistance and everything, I just have no chance of accomplishing anything against these Seekers, so... Bottoms up, drink your glass every time you have to use heat rockets to kill Seekers. They're like little stealth tanks, but they're dead and they'll never trouble me again. So that makes my life a little better. Oh, except there's another one right there. Shit balls. And it's gonna kill Kamikaze. And there is nothing I can do about that because the people with grenades have all panicked. Ah, oh, fuck. There is nothing I can do about what's about to happen to Kamikaze. And that makes me very upset. Really, really upset. Oh, Kamikaze! <laughs> Yuck! Everybody had to panic right then. The only thing I can possibly do is pray that it shoots Burn Cycle instead, because Burn Cycle is the closest shot. But I think it's smart enough to know a kill shot from a non kill shot. So that's probably not going to work out for me. Best I can do here is shoot these assholes. Missed. Yeah, you did. I feel better. Kamikaze in so much trouble right now. Oh! Baby Morgan, yes! Well done! Oh, uh, there, there was another one. Oh god. There, there was a third Seeker. Okay! <laughs> but it didn't shoot Kamikaze. That's good. Um, my brain stopped working for a second and I forgot that everyone gets an overwatch against a Seeker when it comes out of stealth, even if you don't have covering fire. I should have actually left the, um, the rookie on overwatch to account for that. But Morgan... Morgan had me covered. Uh, but now I have an additional problem, and that is, if we don't kill this Seeker, um, it will kill Kamikaze next turn, so the priority right now is Operation Kill the Seeker. Who's the best person for the job? Well, it's gonna have to be my laser rifle, guys, because no one else has nothing on it. So, um, go ahead and do your worst to this Seeker, please, Ben Cycle. Yeah, you haven't killed it yet, but, uh, keep trying. Come on. Nice. Now we just need to finish it off. Now that it's all resupply. it's all flippy around and shit. It's all it's all flippity. You gotta get it. You've gotta finish it off, Renzel. Yes, that's that's my squad. That's my squad. <laughs> that's Renzel going like shit. I actually hit it. Ah, that's my squad, baby. That's my squad. Now I just gotta keep up the fight on these escaping enemies, and we're golden. Aye, aye, commander. Kamikaze can get into cover finally. Run Kamikaze. Morgan can't see the floater. Um, and if I move I can see the floater, but there's no point chasing it right now, I think. May as well just, uh, chill out. Oh god. More contact. We're gonna have to fall back from this. Shot wide. Got no, ammo. no overwatches, please. Fuck, that's four floaters. We're, uh, we've been pressed into a corner here. Ah. Okay, let me just think about how I want to deal with this. So, after looking at it a bit, uh, 
you've got a situation where you've got an exposed floater here, an easily flankable one, and then their little buddy left down here in the cover. Now he's got weird line of sight, he actually can't see WMC from where he's currently sitting. But, you know, don't you worry, he's going to change that soon. Now, we are out of ammo and quite a few troops here because we just, uh, you know, had a lot of fighting going on. But quite luckily, Morgan still has full ammo on the scatter laser. So, the first move I want to make is free up some heavy cover here for everyone else and begin by using Morgan to uh, hopefully take this heavy cover. Heading to that location. Throughout this, obviously, it'd be easy to flank this guy, but you'd have to move out into exposed cover to do it. And even if we kill all the floaters, there's still a muton on the floater back there to deal with us. So we don't want to do that just yet. Now the next thing I probably want to do is drop this guy back in the cover. Solid copy. W is going to send an HE grenade over here. And that's so that this guy can be dealt with. Otherwise, he's too good. He's tucked behind cover that we can't see. There's nothing we can do to him. But if we blow up that log, he's only in half and we can actually deal with him. And hopefully deal with him good. And yeah, even, even Morgan can see him at that point, so that's really helpful. So what I probably want to do is use my Carbiner to whittle him down a little bit, and then finish him off with, uh... Well, uh... Okay, maybe I'm just going to overwatch him. Um, so let's try and pick off the full health floater with the scatter laser. Nice damage. Down to... Should be, I believe, three floaters left at this point. Where is that other floater? There was four, wasn't there? One's overwatching inside. Um, so probably the next move I'm going to make is make one move left, right. Suppress this guy, keep him pinned. Don't try to shoot lasers through Squint's body, if you please. That would not be good. Uh, and then we can move Burn Cycle over to the left. Reload. We can overwatch to try and make this floater sit still. And then we really just got to move Hawkeye. Uh, and everyone's happy. On the move. Got some more laser ammo for next time, and let's see what that uh, does for us. This is a pretty scary. Oh, it's a pretty scary fight right now, but as long as I don't get hit. Oh! Kamikaze is okay. Here comes his buddy though, and there's an Overwatch. Thank the gods. So. Mr. High Ground, uh, we need to deal with. He's got going to have aim bonuses on the rest of our troops if we don't. Might end up just suppressing him, seeing as he's hard to hit compared to everyone else. He is he's a good deal harder to hit. Uh, we've still got the problems with the Muton. To the left. What can I reliably do to kill these guys? Uh, I can carbine that one. Potentially, if I suppress this high guy. Oh my god, he's got cover and fire! Holy shit! Okay, floaters can get cover and fire. Whoa, not even floater leaders, just. That makes them really difficult to deal with. Okay, that's fucking scary as hell. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that in the future, but yeah, floaters can get cover and fire. Let's. Let's keep that in mind. Well, one of them's pinned. Uh, now we can deal with the rest, hopefully. Now, if I wanted to get cute, I could run and gun up here to kill one. But I'm still worried about the Muton and his butt buddies. Uh, who probably want to take advantage of me. I don't know. This guy down here that no one else can see is really annoying because, well, no one else can see him. I might just have to overwatch him. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to pick him out of cover. But it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. I can hardly run and gun to get him either, so... Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in my butt. I could really use another grenade to destroy him, but I brought another battle scanner instead. That's, uh, that's life. Is there anywhere I can move up to where I can get a shot on this guy? Maybe if I move right? No. Alright, well that's your shot. Take it. Good shot. Bad results. Maybe if you move right you can overwatch to keep him pinned. Even though you've only got a ballistic pistol. He doesn't know that. He's too stupid. 
Move right, show me what you can do. Moving to position. You see all three of them, so you can potentially keep him pinned if he's scared enough. Alright then. Well, let's move up the assault a little bit. Morgan's been putting in a lot of work this mission. And that's going to be 100%, so Morgan's going to put in a little more work right now. I'm almost got a flashbang. I'd, I'd take that if I could get it. But there's a nice shotgun that brings it down to two active floaters right now, with the third one having run with the muton. What do we want to do here? I probably want to overwatch just in case this guy tries to move. I want to keep him pinned where he is. Solid copy. Because the pistol's not that scary. You want to keep him nice and fucking pinned. Now, if he's smart, he's still going to shoot Kamikaze, but... Oh, God. And here comes... Three more muton... Uh, three more floaters and a muton. He's shooting me! Woo! Oh, God. So much fire to Kamikaze. There's a pinning overwatch from one of the floaters, which could be covering fire. We don't fucking know at this point. We have no idea. <sighs> These mediums, man, I tell you what. They're not to be trifled with. What the heck am I going to do about this? Well, these guys are really difficult to flank just because of how the land is. And I can't suppress any more of Kamikaze, so he's got to get out of there. W's out of ammo. Hawkeye's got ammo, but hasn't got very good targets to pick from. I've got one floater that I can hit for a, what, a 51%? It's not super good. I can move and get a better percentage shot, but then the Muton could do whatever he wants to me at that point with his grenades, so I probably need to fall back across the board. Uh, probably like a kind of fighting retreat, engaging these floaters um, while retreating, I think is my best bet. Getting back up onto this high ground hill, maybe even. So to do that, I'm going to need to shoot these floaters and shoot them good. And now I'm not going to kill any of them with that kind of shooting. Uh, you just need to get back down. Things are just not going well at this point. Assault's going to get cleaned up by an overwatch potentially, so we got to watch out for that. Maybe I should do a running gun to this position and take a shot. Him down. Let's do this. Oh, you didn't get hit by the overwatch. Beautiful. 20%, that's awful. But you can overwatch to keep him scared. And then burn cycle can retreat as well. Roger that. Okay. Reload Renzo. Rock and roll. Gonna have to reload WMC as well, if we can get him out of there, please. No, WMC is just gonna have to move, I think. There's no one good for WMC to go. You're just gonna have to get out of the shit, I think. So you move. Moving to designated position. And you have nothing to do, really, but Overwatch. Overwatch. Make sure they don't come at us. Now here comes the Muton. Now, thankfully, he's double moving. He's a scary man to be facing right now. It's all down to whether these floaters can make anything happen. Double Overwatch is certainly something that's happening. It's not going to be fun to deal with. Morgan obviously has to move or else the Muton's going to clean me up. I don't really want to fight these two Overwatchers, but I don't have a choice. Yeah, I can't help. Roger that. Reloaded. That is sucky. That is sucky, sucky. Uh, the best I can really do here is engage the overwatching floaters with Renzol, I think. Oh man, Renzol's about to get counterflanked. I might just have to run away. Run away fast. To a faraway land. Got it. Run, Morgan! 
You'll be safe. Hooray, you were kind of safe. And then probably pull the tr same trick of Renzol, and we just got to get out. Run, Renzol! Woo! We're good, we're good. We're calling their bluffs. Or at least we're trying to. Moving to designated coordinates. Alright, and we are getting the hell out of dodge. Gotta be careful we don't tempt the mutons into grenading that body. Or Squint is going to be very dead very quickly. On the move. Alright. Well, let's hunker Kamikaze, and let's see what the next turn brings us. And it brings us an angry Muton. Who is again? Oh, he stayed in- Oh, I gotta, I gotta take advantage of that. Oh, I gotta take advantage of all these exposed enemies. Oh, they're all- What the fuck? I wish I had explosives right now. What are they doing? What is this? Some kind of trick? Am I being tr- Am I being punked? What is this shit? I can flashbang all of them! But then I can't shoot the Muton. Uh, am I being punked? A serious question. I think I am. I think I'm being punked. I'm gonna flashbang them all first, just in case uh, a panic chain makes Morgan panic. We don't want that to happen, obviously. And then we're gonna focus fire down the big muton. Starting with the carbine and hopefully finishing with a laser rifle. Ah, that one damage that gets you every time and is actually going to get me this time because, yep, that sucks. That's just a big a sucky minute. pancake of suck. He is flashbang, but he can still hit me probably fairly comfortably. It's just a big fleshy sack of suck. Alright. He's gonna move to the metal canister and he's got a close range flank! Eh, flashbang's not gonna matter at that range! Ugh! I could've moved back around this way, but I'm worried about those other floaters coming, you know? I didn't want to move to the right because at least these guys were flashbanged. I mean, obviously I saw the flank coming. My mind tries to preempt the YouTube comments before they happen. Beagle, why didn't you see the flank coming? I mean, obviously I see it coming, but I was hoping I could at least focus down the muton. And I didn't want to flank myself to the right because these two floaters, who have just disappeared by the way, I don't know where the hell they've gone. <laughs> um, these two floaters would have cleaned me up. But Morgan's a tough girl, luckily. Now all these guys are going to be unflashbanged after this turn, so we have to make this turn count. Um, how are we going to make this turn count properly? Well, you don't really have any choice. You kind of just have to sit there and shoot. So, please hit. Yes, Renzo, yes! Make my life so much easier. I love it. W, you can come and try and help. Or at least... Where the hell have these other floaters gone? I'm scared now. I actually don't know where the hell the other floaters have gone. Um, are you in cover from that direction? You are. Shit sandwiches. You guys are just awkward to kill right now, aren't you? You're just all very awkward to kill. I might just have to fall back from them. As shitty as that is. What's the range bonus? 83. A shotgun's definitely going to hit at that. But then where does burn cycle go? Or maybe he moves up to here. Got it. Trigger that flashbang overwatch for me. That all you've got? Oh, bye bye tree cover. You're not feeling so hot. Now Morgan's gonna fall back. That's affirmative. Take full advantage of that range bonus. To still hit an 80. What? 
Okay, whatever. I'm beyond questioning at this point. And there you go. Just believe sometimes it works out. And now you're gonna have to pin these additional floaters against Morgan. The auto laser is gonna get back into position soon. Which we really need to happen. And you, Hawkeye. We'll go. I guess you can move up and get a flank, which is very handy. Nice shooting, Tex. That'll put the fear of XCOM into him. Alright, but it's all over if... Okay, well if you shoot the half cover, that's fine. But I was going to say it's all over if they hit Morgan. Four life is not a lot to have left. Here's a nice overwatch shot. Burn cycle. Burn cycle. Maybe next time. You set your collimator to disintegrate the laser at too close a point. I built these lasers. I know how they work. Alright. Now I should be able to pull some fuckery on this floater. If not this turn, then next. We'll move down. Really kind of scared of where those other aliens are, but we'll move down. And then what, Beagle? Um, and then we'll move down and reload. And we'll move up and suppress. And we'll move up and reload. And we'll shoot him. And it's just going to be great. All around going to be great. It's going to be great. I can't see you, apparently. Blessed be XCOM. Land of strange things happening. Well, we'll suppress you. And you hopefully won't shoot and kill me. And we'll try to keep you pinned there with some Overwatch. Oh, the little baby hunkered. Little baby floater hunkered. He's so cute. He's such a cute little baby. We'll move up and we'll kill it now. Oh, we have the chance. We'll Burn Cycle's gonna move up. He shoots. He scores. Didn't even need to follow up with Morgan. Beautiful work, Burn Cycle. These rookies are earning their pay. You can't argue with that. So, at this point, I think we're down to still a remaining Muton. That wounded floater in the Muton couple that ran off. Uh, and then we've got those two and then... Um, I think three floaters left, according to my counters. I'm really not sure. I've got kind of scrabble-brained. All it takes is forgetting to decrement the dice once, and then I lose track of who's left. Lose track really bad. Moving. We'll go. I don't know where those floaters went, and I'm honestly a little concerned because they could be fucking anywhere, and it, it's just kind of it's just kind of concerning. Confirmed. They could, they could literally just come, they pop out of any fucking place they want. I need to consolidate my squad. Oh, oh, I need to consolidate my squad. There's one. Don't let them flank nobody. Get him. Double you. Jesus. Oh god, look at that movement. Is everyone okay? They're trying to pull back. Everyone's okay. And then he, he nose dived the ground in his excitement. Take a good look that that photo also just moved through a door without opening it. Don't ask how. Okay. W's not really feeling it. Uh, damn it. <laughs> w not really feeling it. Let's move Hawkeye so that it doesn't happen again. Uh, we should probably clear our left flank to make sure it's okay to do that, actually. Moving. I wish we had lightning reflexes still, but we don't. Uh, let's throw a scanner out there. Try and spot these wounded aliens that have run from us. Getting a better look. Where the hell have they gone, man? Sometimes aliens just like leave. Maybe this is one of those times. Twice. Nice shooting, Tex. Hostiles pacified. We are pacifying the hell out of this forest. It's going down. All right, go get in position. Heading to that location. 
So where's the rest of your buddies? And how many are left? I know... I know that one health Florida and Muton couple is out there. I don't know about the rest. My dice say there's two other floaters left apart from those two, but... There now. Maybe the dice are lying. By all accounts, I hope at least I've shown that, uh... These landed UFOs are often a lot worse than the abductions. We'll go. Double time. This has been a real battle. But I think we're gonna come out on top, hopefully. We seem to be pushing through at this point. Heading to that location. We're green to go. Back online. Locked and loaded. Ian. Yeah, I still hear the muton too. You hear that? Oh, hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. They're starting to lose ground. He begs for death, and I shall grant it to him. Aye, aye, commander. And there are other floaters still on the map. I can hear them. That's affirmative. Let me grant your wish. And that's the wounded floater dead. We're gonna have to be really particular to make sure we clean up all those stragglers. Because they just run off and I don't understand why. Let's keep wounded kamikaze in the back. Uh, let's hold our ground here of W. We don't want to give up ground. Because we haven't got lightning reflexes anymore, every piece of ground we have to c uncover is another possible overwatch trap. Is this another pod? That's another four floaters. Can you get out of town with this? With this many aliens? Please? Do you even- do you have covering fire? I don't even- there's no way for me to know. You don't have covering fire, okay. Covering fire is a great perk. It's interesting when it shows up on aliens, but I, it's very, it's very scary to deal with when you don't know if the alien has it or not. It really hamstrings a lot of potential gameplay choices you can possibly be making. Now I probably should have hunkered against these guys instead of doing what I'm doing, which is going all out. But that would have been a decision to make a while ago, not right now. Maybe next turn. Where can you back up to? Hawkeye? Oh, Hawkeye, you, you don't need to back up. You need to chill where you are. Probably reload, all things considered. And we'll... Mm, let's not move up Kamikaze just yet. In fact, we should probably fall back to uh, a fighting position up on this hill. Yes, Commander. These fucking floaters, man. They just need to leave me alone already. Good shooting, Tex. Bad shooting, idiot. Alright. Shot number two. Good attempt. Bad result. I'll get him next time. I'm sure you will. I believe you. Taking a shot at wounded Morgan! Yeah, Morgan's okay. That was close, buddy. Alright, and again, we don't know if that's covering fire or not. So all we can do is just... shoot and assume it isn't, really. We don't have a lot of choices. That is a leader. If anyone's gonna have covering fire, it could be them. You can tell because they have, uh... Actually, no. This is the leader. That's not a leader. So he shouldn't have it. Okay. So maybe if I just... Yuck. <laughs> Bad times online. Maybe if I start off with burn cycle here. Hey, no covering fire. That's a uh, burden off my shoulders. Now I can try and finish him with the carbine. Beautiful work. Absolutely beautiful work. That's down to three. We move on the right. I haven't got a shot now. I might just go back down in case floaters are flanking me. Don't want to get hit from my right. Overwatch on Kamikaze, I would say. 
Uh, keep the laser rifle shots coming, Hawkeye. Not quite today, not quite today. Shot failed to connect. And yeah, what we'll actually probably do is hunker our wounded troops uh, to keep him safe right now, I think. We don't want a random shot just killing Kamikaze. We want to play this by the book. Oh god, they're just engaging us. Ow. What? No. What's happening? No. That's not what we need right now. It's the opposite of what we need. It's all down the burn cycle in W, the rookies, to hold down the squad at the moment. Okay. And that's not particularly helpful for that. Is it now? <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's a bad time. What can you do, Burn Cycle, apart from... I mean, if you don't shoot, Hawkeye is going to become unpanicked and be shootable next turn anyway, so there's no point not shooting. You have to defend your squad, Burn Cycle. Oh! Fuck yeah, you're owning your keep, Burn Cycle. You're a fucking hero. W's going to have to do the same. W's going to have to move up to... Uh, Deal with whatever that other floater did. Didn't that floater shoot me? I'm pretty sure. Heading there now. I want to say it did. Yes, it did. Now I can shoot, or I can overwatch. And in this case, it's probably better to overwatch. Stop it from assaulting. You know, the 52 could hit, but if it doesn't, uh, I, know, I don't want to let it get any closer. Get any closer range shots on me. Ich habe alles im Blick. And then what else can I do to make this uh, safer? Uh, I can probably move up my assault to here, right? Listen, this isn't crazy. Hunker. And it's got a better chance to live than if it shoots the medic. So maybe it'll mess up its targeting priorities. Best case is it overwatches, but it's not doing that! Oh, God! Well, Hawkeye is dead. Hawkeye is dead and lying on a muton. And as soon as I hit Overwatch and WMC, I thought, you know what, 50% could miss, but what if, what if the fucker just shoots me and kills someone? And there you go. Mm, yeah. Well. Maybe it still would have happened, who can say at this point. I thought that hopefully by overwatching, instead of betting on the 50% hitting, which just missed, I thought maybe um, we could just scare it into overwatching, but... <sighs> that just happens. God, this fucking mission, I just wanted to end. I'm just so sick of these floaters. I just don't want anyone else to die. God damn it. Everyone's so low. And there's still so many monsters out there. I'm on the move. Can't bring my gunner in. Fuck this horror show. At least we're keeping the attention on our healthy troops right now. Well, it's up. But can we convert it? Can we make it good? I don't know. You tell me, Renzo. Good job. Fuck this hell. Commander. Let's bring Kamikaze over to the left. Strengthen our line with Hawkeye down. If only my scout was still here, maybe things would be different. Shit, here comes another float up. I believe... They're falling back. This should be the last one, right? No. Fuck, I've lost count now. <laughs> For real. I actually have no idea how many floaters are left at this point. I've totally lost count after everything has happened. Uh, good shoot, bad damage. Yeah, whatever you just said. 
I still hear the muton inside that UFO too. He's probably about to pop out and uh, do things. Can't quite see that guy, unfortunate. Moving. Got it covered. Let's rock. The turns are quick, but it doesn't mean they're good. That was close. That was close. Come on, W. There you go. X-ray down. All right. I guess you just keep holding the line here. Not a lot of good options right now, in my eyes. Heading there now. Train on the In the bike. Here comes another one. Is that the wounded flutter from before? I can't even keep track now. He's trying to flee. I want to hunt him down. Roger, tracking. There's the Muton 2 and he's not an Overwatch. Maybe it is the couple. Oh god! Come on! Not today! Not for, not to fucking day. You gotta get down there and you gotta sort this shit out, man. To sort this shit out. Yes, sir. Come on, Morgan. You haven't let me down before, so don't let me down now. You let me down, Morgan. I got people out there fucking exposed, Real, and you are letting me down. Aye, aye. Ah, we let him get away. I don't need a muton rallying around in that UFO. I need a dead muton. Do I guess we just wait for it to come back out? I'm on the move. I ain't going in there after it. I'm on it. Come you in. can if you want the paycheck. I'm good. I'm staying I'm where in. I am. Heading there now. I'm kind of scared of where the other floater is, so I'm gonna play it safe with W. Play it safe with a lot of you guys. It's a grueling battle of attrition at this point. Spadas. Poor Hawkeye, man. Oh, there he is. What's your move? You're gonna growl at me? You're gonna shoot? You Rambo motherfucker. Well, Renzel's had enough of your shit. Oh, I see the floater too. A different floater. There God fucking damn it, I did it again. Um, something about me and UFO missions that take way longer than I'm expecting them to take. Um, and I keep forgetting I'm gonna run out of hard drive space. I had like 150 goddamn gigabytes free when I started this mission, but I guess it just turned into longer than I was expecting. I'm sorry. Um, once again, you missed a turn. Uh, it's not hard to tell what happened though. Um, basically, WMC took a shot, killed the Muton. Uh, Renzel took a shot, hit the floater. The floater's now down to two health. And then the floater went back inside. Now we gotta chase the fucker down, basically. Alright. Let's keep moving up on the guy. Got him on the ropes. We know where he lives. We know where he be. We're gonna get him! Moving. If he comes out here, he's dead. Bet on it. What was that? He's fucking dead, I said. Gu guys, I guys, I said he's dead. Guys. All right, go fly up on the roof. 
Go check the roof for problems. You'll find none. You are the only problem in this world, Floda. And you're dead. Moving out. Which means the world is better now. I don't know how many floaters are left. Could be anywhere from zero to three. Again, not the best at keeping count right now. Moving to position. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. Speaking of things that aren't the best, we have to take on an outsider breach with ah, one, two, three, four, five people and only one shotgun. Okay, green to go. I feel, Commander. This has been the mission from hell. Oh god, what's happening? Who sees him? Why is that music playing? That music only plays when you can see them. Where are they? Uh, where's the muton? I mean, where's the floater? I'm scared. Where are you, Floater? There you are. We could see you, but we couldn't see you. You are hiding up in an awning, apparently. Miss the target. All right, little buddy. Oh shit! No one's picking you off. Negative, Schaden. All right. Well, I'm going to kill you now. Ich habe keine Kugeln mehr. On my way. W is going to have to lead the charge. She's the only trooper who isn't half dead, apart from Renzo. Maybe Renzo should lead. She's got the most health to take an Overwatch shot. You are the corporal, Renzo. This is what you signed up for. Moving to position. Uh, yeah. Overwatch. I I Scanning. <laughs> that seeker looks like it's an octopus with dreadlocks. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, move it up, Renzo. Clear the no man's land for your boys. Okay. I'm on the move. Position confirmed. Well, I can hear the outsiders. And it sounds, unfortunately, like they're either in the engine room or the exterior. Hopefully, there's not much cover there and we can abuse it. Hopefully. Okay. If there's any more floaters out there or overwatching me though, all it's going to take is one catch on an overwatch of troops of this health. War is hell. Alright. Well, we're going to stay careful, but we are going to assume we've dealt with most of the floaters by this point. I don't hear them anymore. I don't see them anymore. I don't hear them flitting around out there. We'll try to sneak up on these outsiders. Okay, so they weren't outside, and that's bad. We're going to have to sneak up on them a different way. A different way. Mm. I'm rolling. Solid copy, Commander. Man, this ain't so swell. This ain't so swell. This ain't swell. This ain't going great. I'm on it, Commander. Affirmative. Covering now. I feel, Commander. 
Once your play outside is, rip it straight out of the playbook and show it to me. So I can counter it. You overwatching motherfuckers. Okay. Well, I'm gonna kill one of them at least. Or try very hard to kill one of them. Peek a fucking boo. Oh, there's your buddy! And you're both overwatching. Ah, uh, how the hell do you even do this? That outsider on the right is definitely going to hit Kamikaze, but I can't run because there's Overwatchers now. How do I deal with this? Oh, I think I see it. I think I see the only way I could deal with this. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to shoot. Not enough damage, but don't you worry. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> I hate having to shoot, but I had to shoot. Uh, I'm going to have to... Please don't call me crazy. Move through the Overwatch here. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna run that one and hopefully not trigger the next one. Yeah, buddy! And now, only thanks to the fact that there is a closed door here, are we going to be able to get a safe shot on the next one. Call ass. Best shot we're ever going to get, that's for sure. Running. It's time to go big, Morgan. It's time to go real big. Now, you haven't let me down for the rest of this mission. So don't start now. You started. Not good. Head into that location. All right, that's definitely uh, uh, absolutely bad. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's a flank. Oh, you little alien shits. That's affirmative. You little alien shit weasels. Fuck. Uh, okay. Well, anyway. I gotta fuck that flanking one. Excuse me, last time I overwatched a W, it killed someone, so... This time I'm gonna trust my luck. Oh, I hate that noise. Aw, damn it. Shouldn't have trusted my luck. Well, now for us not to die, one of you needs to kill this guy. That rhymed. Just, just overwatch it. What else can you do? Just overwatch it. He's running, which is what I was hoping he was do. thank god. And now we're going to the original plan, which is a double overwatch this guy. You gotta kill him, or your teammates are fucking dead. Well done. I'm about to start keeping score. Alright, it's just little buddy outside of left. Just little old buddy outside of left. That's affirmative. Hey, little old buddy. What you got cooking? How about cooking something up for me? How am I going to deal with you? Get the heavy in position to suppress next turn. We can just turtle him out until we get run and gun back and then finish him off pretty easily, I think. Solid copy. Probably don't want to get a shooting match with him. Considering who he is and what his aim's like. And then also get Burn Cycle in position to support. And if we can get some some suppression on him next turn, we can engage in a good old shooting fight with him. Uh, at no penalty, really. On my way. But for now, we play it safe. Where are you going, buddy? Alright, you're hiding. You're hiding on Overwatch. Well, I guess we may as well continue waiting for that running gun then. If it's all the same to you, outsider. To Ready to rock. All right, where are you moving now? You're moving back right. You're not happy with your spot anymore. Now you're back in the spot where I want you to be. That's good. 
And I'm going to make it better. Get rid of that overwatch. And then... To make this actually safe, we really need some damage to hit the guy. Kind of like that. Damn it, indeed. And that's gonna be nice and safe, ladies and gentlemen. Morgan's going in... ...for the vengeance. Have I got hard drive space? You better goddamn believe it. Operation Morbid Hammer is probably one of the hardest missions we've had to fight so far in this campaign. Um, it's probably really fortunate that my hard drive space ran out at a really easy, like, res recovered kind of point in the mission. Not before, so that I didn't miss all the drama and tension, but... Uh, that was hell. That was hell on Earth. That was hell in India. Um, that is why I was saying I didn't want to go on a medium with only rookies. And I'm sure glad we got some good troops to kind of get us through it. Um, but ever since we lost that scout, it was just downhill from there. The squad did a great job of stabilizing and coming back. Um, maybe if I'd taken that shot with W instead of overwatching, the floater wouldn't have called my bluff and killed him. Maybe I would have killed the floater first. Maybe it would have missed and Hawkeye would still be dead. I don't know at this point. These are the kind of questions that haunt me. Um, and I mean that in a serious way. These, these are the kind of questions that I think about when I make dinner. I'm just going to sit in there and I go, I, 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 maybe I could have saved that person. Maybe Hawkeye's dead because of me. Um, yes, Frag was definitely one of those questions as well. Um, so, yeah. That's, um, that's XCOM. That's why it's such a great game. It's, it gets to you. But anyway, at least we're taking the body home and we're heading back to base. Poor Hawkeye. And look at these wounds, too. <laughs> well, at least Kamikaze Melon got exactly the right nickname. Promoted the Corporal is... Corporal Fubar Kamikaze Melon. Well, next time you'll have some heat ammo, uh, Kamikaze, you'll be ready for those Seekers. Promotion for Salty Renzel. Straight up to Shredder Ammo for Renzel, which is gonna be really nice. Renzo, one of the few people to come out of that without an injury. Burn Cycle and WMC, three kills and two kills respectively. Those rookies really made it count for their debut. I gotta respect that. And we got a Scout Sniper and another Medic to uh, replace poor Hawkeye. Poor Hawkeye, man. Poor, poor Hawkeye. Another South African joins the roster. Yeah, well, um, we're trying to stabilize our troop losses here, but we just, um, we keep taking injuries, we keep running out of people. It's rough, we just don't have good people to go on missions, and then we take injuries, and we've got even less good people to go on missions. What are you gonna do? Morgan... Morgan... just went so strong on that mission. God bless you, Morgan. God bless you. Well, we fought a lot of aliens, we just got a lot of alloys. And a lot of Illyrium, that is a huge haul of resources. A huge haul of intact computers and power sources. Uh, and you can bet your butt we're going to put that to good use, Avenging Hawkeye. The new all engineers right. arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. As the alien attacks have become more frequent, our casualty rate has climbed. Mm-hmm. It sure has. Well, uh, let me consider if I want to sell any power supplies, uh, and we'll move on. Alright, no, I, I don't think I'm going to need to sell any power supplies just yet. I mean, I took another look at my little wish list, and I've really got everything I want except for another laser cannon. The laser cannon being quite expensive, and I want to see if I can wait until the end of next month, when I hopefully have North American bonus, to shave off, like, almost half the price of this laser cannon, and just try and play off the laser cannons I have right now on my two interceptors, which is a good number for one continent uh, at this phase in the game, I think. Um, instead, the only thing I might have to sell stuff for is I might have to sell a power supply to do a, um, 
Um, give me a second. Exalt scan! That's the thing, that's the thing. I might, I might have to sell someone to do an exalt scan in a couple days. But let's get to the couple days first and see what happens. Good deal. Alright, I would like to do a scan now to feel comfortable. So let's do a scan. What can I sell to get 250 bucks? I should give him a fucking power source. Fuck it. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. And we'll do... Is Kyori about to come back under rotation? Kyori's nowhere near rotation. I'm not going to have any good assaults for this next one. And that's a bad thing. But, uh, what are you going to do about it? Intel scan and complete. there's a cell. Positive ID on exalt cell locations. So when you do a scan, it stops them from doing any activities they were doing until they've hidden again. They can't do things while they're visible, so... You want to keep up to date on your scan so you don't keep getting money and shit stolen away from you. So it's going to cover it up. Now who are we going to pick? Infantry's a waste. Might just have to be one of my baby assaults. I wish I could get a gunslinger on him, but um... Hey, you, you play the hand you are given, my friends. Uh, and this is the hand I've been given. I'm looking to see if there's a specialist assault I can send so that they don't have close, uh, close encounters, but not to be. So we'll just send Wolfa. Wolfa looks ready. Alright, and we'll send him out in the operation. Unless... That's what I should have waited for. I should have waited for my alloy plates. Well, now it's going to be too late. I'm just going to send him anyway. The cell will hide after about two days top, so I can't wait that long. But I would have liked to put an alloy plate on my operative. But we'll just have to send you with a ceramic plate. And a flashbang. Why can't I send you? There's the button. There you go. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Canada. Good old Canada. And then let's carry on. Contact detected. We have a small scout. We are gonna shoot this sucker down. Ooh, ooh, laser cannon. Uh, let's start with the avalanche because the avalanche can't really do anything apart from shoot down scouts, so there's no sense wasting the laser cannon on this. Padlocked. Show me what you got, missile Nearing interceptor. Disengaging. Not a whole lot. Contact detected. Now your buddy, the laser cannon, is gonna come in and finish this off. Get the fuck out of here. Contact One engagement? Uh. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Um, I'd gain like another. Let's see, I'd gain like another hundred bucks launching the satellite now. That'd be good and all, but I should probably keep this satellite not launched yet, so that next month, if I get another uplink up, I can then get a three for and get the North America bonus. So I'm probably going to hold on to the satellite this month, actually. Commander. There's a priority Ooh. one transmission coming in from the council. Oh, 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 is this the mission I think it is? It might be time to save a personal friend of mine. Oh, I think this might be it. I've heard, uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything, let's just wait until after the mission. But it might be time for everyone to meet a personal friend of mine. But let's stick to what we actually know. Reports indicate a UN official and his associates were caught in the middle of an alien attack in China. We need to go in there and get them out. We're going to get a lot of money, panic reduction, and engineers for this mission. We're but you know what? I do it with for free. Discretion. Uh, we'll take some good people on this mission because Thin Man is scary enough. Uh, let alone now that Council Mission is going to have mutons and any other number of enemies on it. Uh, so we'll take some good guys. So give me a second, I'll gear up my boys. We're going to be heading out on quite an interesting mission.
Alright, so we're going to do something a little bit uh, slightly different here. Um, absence of an assault. Uh, I've taken two engineers. I don't find Rocketeers super helpful on the uh, UN highway extraction map. Um, but I find engineers a lot more useful. Just the way the elevation works, it's kind of hard for me to get rockets to work, I've found, once you get past the midpoint of the map. Um, what I've done instead is I've given both the engineers shotguns. To use all my weapons effectively, I've given both the engineers shotguns, and then I've given Iku the full-length sniper rifle, and the scout DSM, I've given her the strike rifle. Um, if I could even get the additional range on her... Have I built that yet? No, no marksman scope yet. Um, but the point being, I find this map, it's a bit hard to flank on. It's like all narrow maps, it's quite hard to flank on. Quite a bit easier to get long range firefights going. So I'm going to take the two marksman's rifles for that reason. Um, engineers can back up with the shotguns if the grenades don't do the trick. But hopefully we can blow their cover up. Those are both sapper engineers, so we should be able to blow all their cover up. Um, and then we've got two infantry and a gunner to round things out. Plenty of med kits, a little more than usual because of the thin men. Uh, flashbangs on the infantry instead of the scout because the scout's going to be at the back. Well, the scout still has a flashbang, but you know, the, fla the scout's going to be up at the back, so we're going to stick the flashbangs on the infantry instead. Uh, in fact, what might be one more good idea, if I could be so good as to just take extra med kits, I guess, for all the thin men that are likely to come. Uh, I may as well swap out the gunner's scope for a scope for the scout, since the scout's going to be sitting back. Um, but yeah, apart from that, uh, this is what you're looking at. Uh, let me get these guys out of their police fatigues back into their regular uniforms. I do a little barbying and we'll head out. Yeah, now we're looking pretty. Everybody's looking good. Alright, let's hit launch, let's get out there. Uh, let's bring uh, a certain someone home. Heading into China for the next operation. Alright, what more is there to say, really? For Operation Blind Skull, come back next time when we locate the VIP and protect the VIP at all costs. Until then, have a good one.